Hello dear friends and fans, I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Well, as you know, this is our second class of acrylic painting and today I'm going to tell you about the color wheel and that how can we create, you know, all the colors with these five basic colors. So I'm taking here uh, the five basic colors like I have scarlet and I have mid yellow, I have ultramarine blue, titanium white and of course black. So for that I have placed this sheet here. And also I'm using this uh, tier of paper palette and let's start the process. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to divide this sheet into four different parts, not four equal parts. I'm saying four different parts. So let's divide it vertically as well as horizontally. Yeah, like this. And now I'm going to take this compass and with the help of these, I'll make circle in all these. So let's start. You guys can take radius of your choice. So this is how I'm going to make it. So yeah, I'll make it in all the other three boxes as well. Yeah, like these. Mark the center points. And now I'm going to divide these circles into further different parts. And I'm going to divide this first one into three different parts. And this second one into six parts. Whereas this third one into 12 parts. And also this one into 12 parts again. Yeah, so this is how we have created the you know, four wheels. And now I'm going to divide this circle into further three segments. I'm going to, you know, make three different circles inside this one like this so yeah we are done and now I'm going to take this scarlet color which I have in tubes as well as in jars so I'm going to take some quantity of it like this and also of this yellow mid yellow and ultramarine blue like this also I'm going to take a beaker of water paper towel and some brushes to paint within so I'll take this red color and fill it in one segment of this circle whereas yellow and blue in the rest of two so basically these are the primary colors, red, yellow and blue. They are the only colors that cannot be made by mixing two other colors. I will also fill these primary colors in three segments of this one. Like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these primary colors together to make this country colors. So I will mix this blue and red together to make a color and red and yellow and of course blue and yellow so first i'm gonna take one part of this red i mean scarlet color and one part of this yellow and i will mix these together and we have orange so yeah we'll Fill the orange color in between red and yellow. And similarly, we'll mix one part of yellow and one part of blue to make green. And we'll fill it in between blue and yellow. Like this. And similarly, we will mix this blue, one part of blue into one part of red 
and we have violet color here so we'll fill the violet in between blue and red so these are the secondary colors we have formed by mixing the primary colors together so in this third circle first i'm gonna fill the primary colors like red yellow and blue as we have filled in the second circle so yeah yellow and blue and now we will fill the secondary colors in halfway between these primary colors which are orange violet and of course green like this so guys as we can see we mix these primary colors to make these secondary colors like orange green and violet so now we'll mix the primaries into secondaries to make the tertiary colors like this red into orange to make an orange red and similarly this orange into yellow to make yellow orange yellow and green to make yellow green blue into green to make a blue green violet into blue to make violet blue and violet into red to make violet red so let's mix them and then fill them so we've got red orange shade by mixing red and orange and we have got yellow orange by mixing yellow and orange and we have got yellow green by mixing yellow and green similarly we'll got blue green by mixing blue and green and we'll have a violet blue by mixing blue into violet and similarly we'll have a red violet by mixing violet into red so this is how we've got all the tertiary colors let's name them for the convenience primary colors secondary colors and tertiary colors Let's moist the palette a little because we have to use these colors in the fourth circle as well. But before that, let me quickly name these all colors at their side for convenience. And also, I want to tell you guys one more thing that your results may vary, your colors may vary if you are using like slightly different primary colors as I have used, you know, scarlet, mid yellow and ultramarine blue. But if you are using like crimson red or cadmium red, maybe a cobalt blue or a pale yellow so definitely you will have different secondary and tertiary colors and i'm pretty sure that you guys will have more beautiful orange and violet and green as well as the tertiary colors so you know just have fun with colors make your own color wheels and enjoy this process and you know check out the different results so as you have seen that i have mentioned the you know primary and secondary colors so i'm gonna mention these tertiary colors as well and i'm gonna write these primary colors first so yeah and also i will give numbering to them like one two three so we have numbered the primaries and now i will you know write down all the secondaries four five six And also, I will, you know, mark the number here as well. This one is 5 and this one is 6. And now, I will, you know, number these all intermediate or tertiary colors like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and the 12. So now, let's mention their names. 
so the first tertiary color we have is red orange at number seventh and we have you know a yellow orange on number eighth and on ninth number we have yellow green let's mention it and what we have on number 10 is blue green and we have uh, you know blue violet on number 11 and similarly we have red violet at the 12th number so we have mentioned all the primary secondary and tertiary colors and now we will fill these you know segments so in the first segment we will fill the pure colors here and the second one we will you know make tints whereas in third and fourth we will make tone and here we will make the shades so we will also use the black and white colors which are also the basic colors but we haven't used till now but now we will use these in order to make you know the tint stones and shades so here we have these so just let's start the process and just simply fill all these 12 colors which we have like i mean all the primary secondaries and tertiaries one by one in sequence in this first circle of this you know color wheel like this so yeah we're done with the first segment and now we'll make the tints in the second one and how we'll make it we'll just you know mix any color into little amount of white to make a tint so here i'm gonna make the tints of these all 12 colors and i will fill them here one by one so you will see how we can make you know the tents so let's do it quickly So yeah, we are also done with this as well. So here we have all the beautiful tints of all these 12 colors. So now we'll make the tones. For that, we will mix the black and white together to make a perfect gray. And then we will add this gray into any color to make that tone of that. So here we have the gray color. And I'll take it on my palette knife so that I can better use it. So now we'll mix this gray into any color to make the tone of that. So first I'm going to mix it with red to make the tone of red. And I will fill it here. And similarly I will make the tones of every color and you know just fill them here in this third segment. So this is the tone of red violet. How beautiful it is so guys yeah this is how we can have you know a large range of colors by only using these five basic colors and you guys can change the ratio as well like you can you know mix two parts of red into one part of you know yellow to make different orange shade and you can similarly mix you know uh, these colors into different ratio of white like one part of white and one part of pure color and sometimes you know two part of white into one part of red sometimes different you know so this is how you can change the ratio as well to make different different tints different tones and different shades so this is how we can make any color any you know uh, any any shade any tone any tint as per our demand and as per our requirement.
so i think this is a beautiful process one should must try and you know just experiment with your color just take them out of the box and just mix different ratios of the colors together and just mix them and create different different new colors and just play with them and have fun so must try it and i'm pretty sure you guys will definitely learn a lot through this process so as you can see we have created so many beautiful tones of these 12 colors and we are almost done with it and now we'll move toward the fourth part which will be the shade so in order to make the shade we'll just mix all the color in a very little amount of black and we'll fill here so mix all the colors into black to make the shade of it so let's start the process i'm going to make shade of red by mixing little amount of black into red to make its shade like this and i will fill it here like this and similarly i'm going to mix the you know black into every color to make the shade of that so this is the shade of red violet and now i'm making the shade of violet and filling it here and now we'll make the shade of blue violet and now the shade of you know blue and this is the shade of blue green and here we have the shade of green so this is the shade of yellow green i've told you guys that you guys can you know change the ratio just you know to have different shades of these color so this is the shade of yellow similarly here we have the shade of yellow orange and this is the shade of orange and similarly this is the shade of red orange so here we go we have done with this part as well so yeah guys this was all about today's class i hope you have learned something so guys don't miss our next class in which i will tell you how to make your own color chart and in that we will mix all the colors in one color and we'll see the results so after that you will be able to match any color in the world so you will be able to create any color you want or someone demands thank you so much for being with us i hope to see you in the next tutorial till then take good care of yourself bye bye